Hey guys, welcome to our week 5 Epson tutorial. This week um, I'm gonna explain, well I'm not gonna explain a patch, but um, you're gonna learn this patch by uh, Telu Sound. He's a friend of mine, he made one patch for um, this song. I used it in the intro and um, I filter it up. You can see that in the automation. So I used an Epson uh, insert effect and I learned the uh, filter that is on the master here to the to this performance control and I modulated that one so it's this sound quite a nice ambient sound and it's a bit of a complicated patch so I thought well he could best explain this um, himself because again I didn't make this so I'm gonna hand it over to him then and um, you're gonna learn this patch Hi guys, this is Talu. You asked me to tell you guys something about this preset I made in Epsin that is using for his Epsin song. So let me play it for you. First I would like to show you how the different channels sound separately. Then I will talk about what I did in the channels. Then we go to the master section and we will end with the effects. Let me first put all volumes down. Channel A is the sharp phasing sound in the back. Then we got channel B is the lower end of the sound. Channel C is the church roomy sound, it's the body of the sound. Channel A is a FM oscillator, it's the harsh phasing sound in the back. It's uh, set on 57 fixed note, that means that whatever key on the keyboard I hit, the pitch of the note stays the same, the face is set on zero, the modulation FM index is 13.8889, note again fixed 85 and face is zero. If you want to copy the settings you can always pause the screen. What you also can try to do is just like experiment for yourself, whatever works for you. Then the unison, I set it on one. I chose one because I wanted a harsh sound. Um, if you put it higher, don't forget to transpose it a little bit. The sound gets a little bit warmer. But I wanted a harsh sound. You can experiment with it. Pretty nice too. You can, you can find crazy stuff with it. Then we go to the filters. It's set on 14K. The feedback 0 0.99. Then we go to the envelope section. The oscillator envelope starts rapidly, rapidly goes down, slowly comes up, slowly comes down. If you want some extra movement, what you could do is set it on loop. And it just keeps going. What you like best. The filter 1 is also modulated with an envelope. This is where the main phasing sound comes from. When I put an LFO on it, you can hear it even better. Also pretty nice. Then we go to the LFO section. It's, uh, there is an LFO on the pitch, 7, oscillator A. Uh, the LFO is a squarish wave, beat synced, 16. And there is also, it's also on the frequency of the filters, filter 1 and 2 with 35. There is also a little bit of modulation on the pitch with oscillator 2, or LFO 2, sorry. With 0 0.006, it's, it's just a little bit to give it a little bit that extra life-ish feel. 
<laughs> and that's it for the LFO section. Channel B is also a FM oscillator. It's the lower end of the sound. The ratio is set on 1. The phase is 0 0.106. Modulation 2.4832. Ratio 1, phase 0.12. And then the unison is set on 8. I chose 8 because this time I wanted a warmer sound. You can hear the difference when I put it down. Catch harsh, harsher. So, eight it was. Yes. Then we go to the filter and effects section. There is. There are two low pass filters on there. I chose two low pass filters to put the sound a little bit more in the back. So you make you take off the top, and that's that that way the sound feels as if it's farther away. And we also got a frequency modulation on there to give it a little bit of extra grit. These two filters and effects don't do all that much. They add just a little bit of warmth and distance in the sound. If you want to copy the sound and think I want to do something crazy, this is the part because this is with it and without it, still pretty good doesn't do all that much. Then we go to the envelope section. There is a slow rising envelope on the oscillator. And there is one on the mark phase. LFO section. There is a little bit modulation on the pitch. Again, just to give it a little bit of extra life feel. And there is a pretty big oscillator. Two octaves, 24 oscillator B on the main pitch. And this also is, this LFO is beat synced at 0.1250 and it's a squarish wave. And that's it. Channel C is a... Granular is a sample mode of Epson 5. I first will play it for you without any filters and effects on it. I used the sample of the Epson library. It's the auto symbol. It's you can find it at Morph Symbols, the first one. The ratio set on 4, starting point 20, the modulation page, time is set on 0, density 8, size 10,000. This is a pretty nice one also to modulate. You can get some crazy, also pretty useful for crazy bassy gritty sounds. Or we were making a pet sound, so 10,000. I think that's also the max, yes. And all the randomness is taken out. Everything is set on zero. Then we go to the filter section. There is a high pass minus 6 dB filter on there because I wanted to take out the lows because we already had channel B taking care of the lows. So we were cleaning up the signal. And then we go to the last one and this is a cloud and this is pretty nice it's transposed 12 down one octave the ration of the grains is 100 grains a second and the randomness is set on 225 and if you want to do something crazy with the sound you can put the randomness up and you get like a a mad demon kind of sound, pretty nice. Two two five. Now we go to the tone. There's a filter on that on two twenty. Q is point five, and the mix is ninety five. I chose ninety five because I wanted just a little bit of the top end of the original sound still coming through. So 
This is the original sound. This is the cloud sound, and then in the distance, a little bit of the top end of the original. Then we go to the envelope section. On oscillator C, there's still the original envelope. I think I made the release a little bit longer. Then let's go to the master section. First, let me put on all the channels. This is the sound clean. Then at first we got a wave shaper. It's set on minus 23 and adds 10 dB phase is zero. It's just to glue the sound a little bit more together. Then we go to the filter. It's a low pass eight pole filter set on nine K. Feedback points 8 adds 5 dB. This filter is again to make the sound feel as if it's farther in the distance. And here there is nothing. Then we got a effect and I chose the etherizer and the etherizer. Channel A got something extra. Master is all the way up. Low pass filter 6K. High pass filter 550, wet all the way up, dry minus 16, surround is turned on just to give the sound a little bit extra movement. Uh, the time is beat synced 0.5, feedback 70, low pass 5k, and the gain is zero. And then over here I changed, this one should be on, and the rate is 20. Randomness 10, the grain duration 50, transpose 12, random just a little bit. And then we got a bandpass filter and I put the bandpass filter on there again to make it the sound feel a little bit warmer. I will show you with it. And without it. And I think both of the sounds are great, it's just what you want to do with it, so that's your choice to make. Well, I think that was all I had to tell you guys. <laughs>